is Danielle Grant here with you on Tuesday. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Been watching some wintry conditions push into Colorado the past about 24 hours. A nice change of pace from the mild Christmas holiday we all saw. The storm system has been charging across the state overnight into early this morning. The heaviest snowfall now out of our state, but early this morning we still are monitoring some light snowfall going across the northern and central mountains. As we head toward this afternoon, we can't completely rule out seeing a few flurries here for the Denver metro area. This is about 5 o'clock. The winds also will be kicking up on the back side of the storm. So keep that in mind. We still have another cool kind of cloudy day with clearing skies late tonight once the storm system finally moves out. An avalanche watch is in effect all the way through this evening as we're looking at large slides potentially possible from the San Juans up toward the central mountains in and around the flat tops and the park mountains. You can see the advisories continue across northern and central Colorado with overall about 6 to 12 inches the big winners from this storm. However, the San Juans with 8 to 18 inches. This storm system flies across to the northeast, impacting the upper Midwest late tonight. It leaves us with a chilly night ahead, but high pressure off to the west will be rotating in, bringing us a mild day on Wednesday. 34 will be your high for this afternoon. Overall, mostly cloudy skies. Again, a bit breezy. A couple of flurries here and there will be in the teens and 20s up in the mountains. Then some sunshine on deck for you tomorrow. 44 on Thursday. Another storm system moves into the state, potentially bringing us a, a few snow flurries early on Friday morning. A great start to 2021. Hope you have a wonderful day.